Welcome to Perry Unlikely. For years now, the question has been, who will be the Ethereum killer? The short answer is no one. But there is no doubt that there's a battle emerging between two heavyweight competitors, Cardano and Polkadot, for who will take Ethereum's market share. Well, today we're going to hash that battle out. We're going to discuss the founders of both projects, and I'm going to discuss how they both work. I'm going to put timestamps in the description if you want to skip around, but let's hop into it. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor, and before you do anything with your money or invest, you should seek the help of a professional. As far as the founders of Polkadot and Cardano, you have Gavin Wood and Charles Hoskinson, respectively. Gavin Wood founded Polkadot in 2016. Previously, he was the co-founder and CTO of Ethereum. Charles Hoskinson founded Cardano in 2017, and previously, he was the CEO of Ethereum. Gavin Wood left to expand upon the vision that he felt Ethereum had not met. Charles Hoskinson left Ethereum over a dispute on whether to accept venture capital funds or not. So seeing that they both previously worked with Vitalik Buterin, you can see that there was a difference in opinion. And this should come as no surprise as this actually happens a lot with developers and engineers. And I'll also add that Gavin Wood created Ethereum's programming language, which is Solidity. So you can see that these two are no strangers to cryptocurrency. They've both been there from the beginning, highly qualified. Cardano, it's proof of stake. Difficulty increases of changing the data over time. Computational work requires a lot of energy. That would be proof of work, but with proof of stake, it does not require lots of energy. It makes it extremely hard to attack. Cardano has been touted as having the educational approach. And many complaints that you see with Cardano is the amount of time that it has taken to launch different phases of the project. Cardano uses a multi-layer architecture. And as I noted earlier, the team had a hand in creating Ethereum. When Cardano is fully functional, it will be able to build smart contracts and create decentralized applications and protocols. Cardano is building with regulators in mind. This is extremely important because one of the biggest fears in the crypto space is regulation. So if you build with regulation in mind, Think about how easy it is because you've woven through some of that framework by the time the project comes to full inception. This will no doubt help to drive adoption. And adoption is what all cryptocurrency projects are looking for. Now on Cardano with Ouroboros, the network randomly selects a few nodes to have an opportunity to mine new blocks. They are called slot leaders. The blockchain is split into slots. Slot leaders mine their epoch or part of an epoch. An epoch can be partitioned indefinitely, making it indefinitely scalable. That is another thing that fixes the issue that Ethereum has been plagued with. Ethereum has not been able to scale. That's why Ethereum 2.0 is so extremely important. And that's why there's continued to be a narrative around scalability. And you see new projects popping up with second layer scaling solutions. Cardano's code is written using Haskell. The benefits, less prone to attack, separation of accounting and computational layers, a consensus mechanism that is indefinitely scalable, minimum transaction fees. Once again, back to the fees, that's a big problem right now in the space with Ethereum. Universally recognized programming language, Another thing that Charles Hoskinson has done is make sure that his language is extremely easy for developers all over the world to use. Once again, this hints back to adoption. That is one thing about this project that is always a theme, mass adoption all over the world. And they're currently working with the African government for implementation of Cardano, and this should be big. Now for Polkadot described as a next generation blockchain protocol connecting specialized blockchains into one unified network. 
It's about returning the control of the web to individuals. Polkadot is the main chain, a sharded multi-chain network. It can process any transactions on several chains at the same time. This solves scalability, which earlier I linked back to Ethereum in the issue of scalability. Sharded chains connected to Polkadot are called parachains. And remember, currently they are going through their parachain auctions, and we're going to see the rise of many important Polkadot projects. They run on the network in parallel. Building is done on the substrate development network, which is faster. Benefits. Each blockchain can be optimized for a specific use case, so it isn't one size fits all. Efficiency and security is improved. Interoperability and cross-chain communication. This allows the transfer of information between chains. Upgrades are easy and Web Foundation supports many of the development teams with grants to faster growth. This is extremely important. The fact that it can work with other chains, that is what's going to make Polkadot so valuable. Now, what you're here for. What will the price be of these two projects throughout the bull market? And which project is better than the other? Currently, Cardano is ranked number four in market cap. It has a market cap of $29.3 billion. And the current price is just below $0.92. Cents. Polkadot is just behind that, ranked number five in market cap. And it has a market cap of $27.5 billion. And the current price of Polkadot is $28.73 at the time of this recording. Cardano's circulating supply is $31 billion out of a total supply of $45 billion. Polkadot's current circulating supply is $962.2 million out of a total supply of $1 billion. That is the reason for the price difference although they have such a close market cap. Cardano has way more coins in existence. I believe that Cardano is going to see in between $6.75 and $8 at the peak of this market cycle. I believe Polkadot will see in between $250 and $275 at the peak of this market cycle. As far as which project I think is better, I really think it is a toss-up. I think long-term both of these projects are working to be what Ethereum is also working to be. Ethereum obviously had a head start, but Ethereum is working as it goes. These projects kind of begin with the end in mind. One thing that I must point out, though, about Cardano is Charles Hoskinson. The owner is very good with the community. He's always available. He's always given thought-provoking uh, discussions. And this really does drive adoption. I think it will help to drive adoption. And also, it really helps to engage people and he answers their questions. Therefore, it's going to lead them to Cardano. I do not see this in Polkadot. It doesn't mean that it's not a good project. I think it's phenomenal. I do hold Polkadot, Cardano, and Ethereum. So I obviously think both projects are great. I do think Cardano has a slight upper hand with adoption if they can keep up to speed on moving forward with the Gogan launch of the smart contracts because of Charles Hoskinson and the way that he communicates with the community. I think that that addition is really what's going to help. Long term, I see both of these getting a slice of the pie. And just like with anything else, there doesn't have to just be one. I think Ethereum, if they can get 2.0 launched, will do well. And I think these will be right there with it if they can hold the task. Thanks for watching Perry Unlikely. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time.